Now, we have on our agenda to talk about certification management, and this, this ties very closely with just general reporting, so we're going to kind of segue into that as a part of this. But this, I've, I've been a, a trainer uh, for about seven years now, so I've heard you know people come in and explain their processes uh, as far as how they might manage a certification program. And believe it or not, I hear this particular workflow more than anything else I've ever heard. You know, you basically have a subject matter expert or a content author that builds a CBT that they then publish up to a web server or a portal. Maybe they burn it to a CD. Maybe they just email it to somebody. But it gets sent out to the audience. Audience members take the content. If there's a quiz or if there's some sort of results that come from that training, uh, they're instructed to either create a print screen or maybe there's a certificate module that's built into the CBT that they have to print off and then email it back to your subject matter expert. Who so then takes it and logs it into a spreadsheet. Uh, they might log it into some sort of calendaring uh, technology like Outlook or something because, you know, if you're, especially if you're tracking like expiration dates, if, if certifications only are, are only good for two years, you know, you might, they'll be using some other system for kind of flagging them once that certification's expired. Um, and then if they're using Salesforce, they might also go and log those, those results in Salesforce. So it's a very manual process. It can break at any one of these points because, again, it's a manual process. So in our world, it happens more like this. Subject matter expert creates a CBT. It's deployed through Moodle. It's then distributed to users, and results are automatically sent to Salesforce, where you can set up your workflow rules to you know, automatically notify a, a person or group when certain dates are set to expire. Um, you can automatically follow up on, on things that people are you know, taking quizzes and they're not getting certified. You've got you know, the, all these systems built in to notify people when their certification is due to expire and, and so on. So you remove all those manual steps in the process and you remove the responsibility of your end users having to, you know, send in something to prove that they did what they said they were supposed to do. So it's a much more streamlined type of workflow. And again, we've got these related lists. So if we're, you know, managing certifications right within somebody's account rec or contact record, we can see which courses they've been enrolled in, which courses they've, you know, they've scored certain grades in, we know if something's complete, when they completed it. Um, again, if we click into an enrolled course ID, it takes us down to the course activities, and here we can see somebody received a 60 percent on a quiz attempt. And, uh, you know, it, it basically keeps track of all course activities, whether that's, um, and there's really only a couple types of course activities. We, we see things in, kind of in black and white, you know, it's either what we call a visited module, where it's uh, kind of a piece of static content. Maybe they had to read a document or view, view a video. It's something that really doesn't have a grade associated to it. We just want to know that they clicked on it. And then there's things like um, quizzes or assignments, or there's, um, there's like scenario-based training that you can build inside of Moodle, and those have grades associated to them. And we pretty much associate that as a quiz attempt. So we have quiz attempts and visited modules that we track inside of Salesforce.com. And the point of all this is, again, we're, we're dropping all these data points into Salesforce. So now all of our siloed information, which is sitting over Moodle and is kind of broken out on a course-by-course -course basis, is being dumped into Salesforce. And all we have to do is come and create a new custom report and pick and choose the data points that are important to us, whether that's, you know, we want to know results of just a company, uh, maybe people from within that company, or maybe we want to see people across all companies and across all all of our partners and customers and employees, um, how they've done it in a particular course. Maybe we want to test the, you know, look at the analysis of just that particular, you know, course effectiveness. So bottom line is, once these data points are in there, then it's very easy to use the robust report filters of Salesforce to kind of slice and dice that data as you see fit. And, and really what's happening here is we, we kind of solve two problems with this um, certification and reporting. Um, first, it's the whole distribution of a certificate. You know, right within Moodle, there's a certificate module that you can set predefined parameters to that say, okay, if they get a, you know, X percent on this quiz associated to this course, then they qualify to, to download their certificate. It'll automatically fill in their name, 
the date and time stamp of when they completed it. It can be customized with your, you know, corporate logos and color schemes and all that kind of stuff. But it also prints on there a unique kind of randomly generated certificate, certificate code. And that code can be entered into the front page of the Moodle site where people can verify that. So you've got this whole system where people outside your organization can come and verify that somebody who says they're certified or said they completed a course, they can actually verify that they did, in fact, complete that. So we have this come up with customers all the time. You know, they, they want to, you know, not only deliver courses, but like managers or, you know, superiors at the other, at their customers want to be able to go in and check to, to confirm that people did, in fact, complete the training as they said they were going to. Because a lot of times these companies are paying um, for the courseware and in some cases paying a premium for it. So they want to have some kind of checks and balances to ensure that people are, are taking advantage of that. So Moodle provides you this external um, system for people to, to verify students. And then, again, inside of Salesforce, you've got all your reports, and you can set up any number of dashboards or, or custom reports as you see fit in order to track your certification programs. 